Hello everyone. This is Squadler Jaisima, the President Indian Memory Council, multiple Guinness World Record holder, master mentalist, soft skills trainer, motivation speaker, an author, a counselor who has ambition to build a new India, India with values. But if you ask me personally who are you? I'm a friend, philosopher, guide, mentor, more than anything else, fellow traveler in this beautiful journey called life. Some of you may agree, may not agree when I say this term called beautiful journey of life because of our experiences. Some of us have come through bitter backgrounds, had very unforgettable past, unsecured future, tenseful present. So the question normally comes as to how the journey of life can be beautiful. The very fact that we would have taken birth as an animal, as a bird or an insect or any other creature, but God has made us to be born as a human being and this life is so beautiful. You have not come with your own voluntarily okay, accepting that I want to be taking birth. You have come because God wanted you to be here and he will take you when he wanted. So we don't have that control over our birth. We don't have control over our death. But how to live this little journey called life, this present moment is in our control. So that's the reason why I say beautiful journey of life. I understand that God had shown some partiality in giving somebody money, somebody not money, but let me tell you that I myself had come through very tough childhood. I had five sisters, an elder brother, lower middle class family in a small village called Katangur in Nalgonda district of Telangana in India. I didn't go to school till I was two years old. I went to seventh class till 10th I was in the village. 10th class, I stood first in my no, district. Then I completed my 12th. The day I completed my 12th, because of my poor background, I had to get into a, some job. I was in the Indian Air Force as a technician, lowest rank, was getting 390 rupees as my salary. Could not speak one sentence in English. A code Hindi me baat karna bilkul malum tha. But I, all that I had was that passion. I have to become something. I have to achieve something, I have to accomplish something worthwhile. And that made me to become a leading aircraftsman, best in trade, best in education, best all-rounder. Stood first in my course, was posted at Amritsar, came back to do my advanced course. Again, I stood first in the training, was posted in Agra. I was working on a internet transport airplane and I was the first you know, aircraftsman to we permitted to do ground run on this Russian aeroplane called AN-32. That's where from 12th I did my graduation, post-graduation, I did my engineering. Then I was wanting to, you know, upskill myself. Then got selected as the commission officer in the Air Force, commission officer in the Army, BSF, Coastal Guard, State Bank of India, and then LAC, GAC, Assistant Administration Officer. But I chose to be part of the Indian Air Force. I came for a training in the Air Force and again I stood first in the training, got President Plague standing first in my course at Air Force Academy Dindigal in Hyderabad. Went on to work in Chennai, thereafter in Kolkata I did my statistical course. From there I went to Allahabad, from there I had come to Air Force Academy, from there I had gone to DSSC, Defense Services Staff College, one of the most prestigious course that any commander had to attend to become okay somebody worthwhile in the army air force navy i was the youngest officer to do that again i came out with flying colors i was posted in bangalore that's how i got an interest was very inquisitive as to what this life is meant for why am i here and that search for meaning of life led me to iskan foundation out of living different Swamiji's, read scriptures, Vedas, Upanishad, Bible, Bhagavad Gita, Quran, attended many motivational training seminars. Then I thought, 
my actual purpose is that i should teach people about life so that's when as a squadron leader equal to major in the army i resigned from air force job i got into becoming a trainer i was training people on leadership motivation team building i got into a company called mind tree consulting as a hr head one year later i took resignation from that company and i started becoming a freelance trainer then i thought i should focus on children instead of changing india we can build a new india that led me to become a memory trainer speed reading expert and i thought to be a role model to the kids i must be an icon so that's when i read lot of books on memory i attended lot of programs of dr franz xavier one of tony buzan many wonderful trainers and did little research and then i have gone to guinness book of records once by memorizing 200 objects then i gave a speech non stop for 20 hours the longest lecture marathon and many many such guinness world records followed today i am the indian memory council president I have written eight books and have traveled length and breadth of this country india trained lakhs of people especially the children college going teenagers adults professionals homemakers then been to different countries conducted memory championships every year to showcase india's brain to the whole world and i am the indian memory council president so for me this is not the job this is my purpose of my life it is my mission and in this journey that I have traveled many times okay i was successful sometime i had fallen met wonderful people like you who pushed me who held my hand and then gave me support when i desperately needed and i happened to read many books learned a lot of insights and i thought it is worthwhile to share all these things with you and you when you have little time you can get on to the podcast and you can be there with me so that's how this idea this thought of having a new podcast called celebrating life has started so i'm going to share not only my learnings not only i'm going to share my success stories and my failures and my lessons that i have learned wonderful people that i met books that i read and uh, all those things that i'm going to share with you so when you are driving when you are traveling and when you don't have access to seeing the youtube you can always uh, you know listen to my podcast and we shall grow together we shall grow together that's what's my aim that's what's my intention is all about okay and uh, we are going to continue the journey because every day if we can invest little time on yourself okay investing okay on yourself is one of the best way to get okay so much of uh, revenues and rewards and that's the reason we are bringing out this podcast so the reason for sharing this little thing about me is that you should know who are you supposed to be following right now is he uh, the person worth while to follow because i value you more than you i value your time every second every minute okay that we invest we are going to spend it out of our life so you need to find the right guru right friend right philosopher right guide if you think i can be one such associate of yours in this beautiful journey called life be part of this podcast subscribe to our podcast channel and i would love to travel with you and then want to listen to your stories and share my stories and we'll have a lot of fun okay and a lot of learnings and i would like to listen to your the success stories and that's the reason why i am going to be there on this podcast so i would love to see you in this you know podcast series called celebrating life so be with me and we are going to really enjoy this beautiful journey so thank you so much bye bye this is jay sama signing off see you again